Hey guys, Justin from Backcountry Drones here. I'm just gonna do a quick video of how to update your CZI payload, in my case, the CZI GL60 Mini. And then uh, this one's attached to our M30T uh, thermal drone. So we use this one for search and rescue, um, thermal surveys, pretty much anything uh, good quality thermal drone is needed. But I get the question a lot about when should I update my CZI payload? And the answer to that is typically whenever they are able to release an update following a major DJI firmware update. The reason being is though they work hand in hand together and, and the software works pretty great with uh, DJI Pilot, they are two separate companies and sometimes they are not in sync with uh, the software updates. So if you go ahead and push a big update to your drone, um, your payload or your spotlight may not be able to communicate with that new firmware, not at least not right away. So I usually tell customers when DJI releases a big update, hold off on updating until CZI is able to update their uh, firmware for whatever payload you're using. And so to check that, you can go here to this, uh, this site here, and I'll put it down in the link. But this is your download center uh, for CZI. And in here, you can get to all your user manuals for all the different products they have. And then the firmware downloads are on here. And they are up to date. They are not old firmwares. Uh, basically, whenever they push a new firmware, firmware update, they will go ahead and put it up here and this is the only one you can you can use. So for our case, we want the GL60 Mini update, which we've already downloaded. Um, and then the GL60 Mini firmware version 2.01. Uh, the update PDF just basically tells you what has been updated, right? So it's gonna tell you um, which aircraft firmware is going to correspond with this firmware version of their light. And it's always a good idea just to make sure everything matches up. Um, and also, of course, your DJI Pilot 2 app, making sure that's up to date. And then they'll tell you, you know, what did they do in this update? This update came out in August, I believe. Yeah, August 21st, 2024. And I have yet to update uh, either of the light the drone or the controller. I just haven't uh, needed to do it yet, but I've, I've decided to do it this weekend. So, and this is, uh, this is their notice, use this firmware to update the drone to the latest aircraft firmware. Okay, so we're gonna go through that here in a second. Uh, we've already downloaded the update. It's in our download um, files. So we're gonna come here to the DJI Assistant 2 Enterprise Series. Now, most of you probably know what this is. And you've already dealt with this, um, but this is how we're gonna do it from here. So over here, you're gonna turn your drone on. You're gonna make sure you have a USB-C connection into the computer and then plug in your light. Okay, and then all we're going to do, we're going to power it on. Okay, so we got it plugged in, drones on, lights up. And Enterprise Assistant is up. So we're going to click on that. It's going to bring us to our aircraft dashboard. And then updating no fly database is required. We're not going to go through, we're not doing that yet. Okay, so other things to look at right here. So Looks like I've missed two updates. That's fine. Up here, you're gonna notice the GL60 Mini is showing up. 
All right. And all you do is click that tab and then you come here. It's going to tell you this is the current version that it has right now. Now, if you go into upgrade, all right, you select firmware file. It's going to bring up your file explorer, go to downloads. Okay. And that's the one we're going to do. So as you can see on the file, it's going to be version 2.01. We're at 2.00 right now. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade that. Some other notes, uh, of course, while you're doing this, you want to make sure you got plenty of battery power in the drone. Um, if you run this update and the drone dies, you run the risk of possibly breaking your light. Um, has never happened to me yet, but I have heard horror stories. And basically to unbrick your light, you would have to send it back to uh, China to get it reflashed and fixed, which could take a couple weeks. I've had to send one light back that I've owned once and it took them a couple weeks to fix the issue, but Okay, so updates getting pushed to the light. Uh, it's going to probably reboot a couple times, as you can see. And you should see here, 100%. It's currently updating still. There it is. Light is updated. Usually that um, those code three lights and they flash like that, that confirms that the light has received a successful update and it is ready to go now. As you can see, update complete. So this is what you can do um, with your firmware updates for your light. You can do it all in one spot on DJI System 2 Enterprise Series and you don't need to go through the pain of trying to update the light individually or through the controller. You can do it all right here. So we're gonna come back out, come here, we're back to our um, aircraft dashboard, and then we would just essentially update our drone as normal. And we can also come back here and make sure that the current firmware is actually current. So we updated to 2.01 and we are at 2.01. Um, as far as updating your M30T or any other DJI drone, uh, Enterprise Series drone, this is all you got to do here. You press upgrade and then the system does the rest for you. It could take a couple minutes, it could take a couple hours just depends on uh, what the release notes state. Now, remember what I mentioned earlier regarding the updates uh, DJI pushes versus what CZI is pushing. So on this particular drone of mine, I just updated the GL60 Mini and like I, you can come back in here and you can see what firmware your 60 mini or your whatever CZI you have, you can verify that the update did take and that it's currently showing on the uh, software here. Now, if we go back to when this was released, GL60 mini firmware 2.01, come over here. This was released 22 August. So, we know that any DJI firmware released before 22 August should be safe to uh, update with. Now, as I mentioned earlier, come on. You don't necessarily want to update too soon um, with DJI. 
So this looks like this just dropped about a month ago, but our firmware for the 60 mini was in August. So this one is looking like a safer bet to upgrade to. Now the release notes for both of them, all they say is improved aircraft stability. And that may not seem like much, but remember, this is a gimbal on top of another gimbal. So whatever uh, telemetry updates they put into this thing may not uh, work with this yet. Uh, I have yet. Sometimes I'll contact CZI directly and find out if it's safe to update to this latest version. Um, sometimes they'll be like, yeah, it's good. We don't need to update anything on our end. But before, um, if I can't get a hold of them or if I just don't have the time and I want to play it safe, I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade to the firmware that was released prior to the 60 mini update. So um, this is not like do or die advice. You can do whatever you want, whatever you feel comfortable doing. This is just what has been recommended um, from clients that I've worked with and other folks who fly these things uh, with these uh, gimbals. So do what you want. Um, CZI does have a great warranty program. They have a great customer service program. It can be kind of hard getting a hold of them because they all are, all are in China. It, I mean, they, they are working when we're all asleep. So it can be difficult to get some emails back from them, but I've only had to send one light back for a firmware issue and they fixed it within a week and was FedEx back to me within the, the week after that. So uh, no questions asked, no charges, nothing. They're pretty, pretty good about their product. They stand behind it all the time. So with that said, um, I'm gonna let this update and I am going to end it here. If you guys have any questions, shoot me a message or put a uh, comment in the comment section. I'm gonna put some links down there for y'all to uh, go to, to reference later. Uh, if you have any issues with any other CZI product, we are CZI dealers, so just give me a shout and we will definitely hook you up with the right person to get your issue fixed. Uh, until then, this is uh, Justin with Backcountry Drones. Thanks for watching.